as they were installing the organ, they never thought yeah. that anybody would want to do what you're trying to do today. <laughs> Which is totally reasonable. <laughs> hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. We're here again at the Fourth Presbyterian Church with John Shear. John, thank you so much for letting us be here. Again. Hey, welcome back, Rob. Yeah. First off, if you haven't seen the pipe organ video, we did a whole video explaining this instrument. So, so this isn't just like the instrument is just back here. So you got pipes, wow. basement to ceiling, front to back, side to side. So this instrument is literally the size of a building. It is. Before watching this, you should really check it out if you haven't. If this instrument is so amazing, and then uh, come back here later. In the pipe organ video that we did, there was one thing that really stuck out to me, and that was we have a MIDI stop. Right. And I thought that was fascinating because MIDI is such a modern way of making music or translating music. Like Andrew Huang might correct me because he uses MIDI all the time, <laughs> but I think of MIDI as like computer sheet music. Like if you have a MIDI keyboard, you're just sending it this note on at this time, turn this note off at this time, here's the pitch bend, mm -hmm. volume, all that stuff in just a really small file. Here's the song, here are the notes, here's when to play each note and for how long. And I use the MIDI more just for the playback function. So you can actually record a piece of music on the organ as you're playing it. Oh. And, and the organ will play the piece back exactly as you played it. Whoa, uh, that's cool. Yeah. What I was curious about, is since it has a MIDI out on the stop, does it also have a MIDI in? And we were going back and forth with emails of whether or not maybe we could do it. I'm not entirely certain as of now if this is even gonna work. <laughs> <laughs> and I have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> that if I have any song in MIDI, we can plug that in and then bring it through this massive pipe organ. That'd be awesome. Yeah, so essentially the MIDI is going to be playing this, and then we can just control the stops. How many divisions do we have here? Nine divisions, Nine. controlled by different keyboards. Mm -hmm. So you've got the choir division, bottom, the great division on this keyboard. And so you can have a flute here and a clarinet here, the oboe here, English horn here, and you have mm -hmm. different sounds waiting on any of these keyboards. So I have the two of my songs that I can't wait to hear played as triumphantly as they ever have. <laughs> <laughs> and then because anytime I have a guitar profile of a song on my computer, I can just export that song into MIDI. So I have a long list of songs that we could put into this. We can see, you know, what Super Mario sounds like on this. <laughs> <laughs> so let's try to get the computer set up. Yeah. Where, yeah, so where are the MIDI inputs for this? And this is what I was trying to tell you, is we don't use it this way. And the organ tech person who installed the system was like, yeah. He said it had a MIDI in in that email. This is essentially the computer for the organ. If we loaded a USB stick with one of your MIDI files and plopped it in there, would it load mm. the MIDI file? How do you access what's on that USB port? <laughs> this is what I was worried about, Rob. Yeah. So when, when you have a, a song that you've already recorded, how do you go about playing it okay. back? Record. All right. Wow, that gives me hope. It clearly can write MIDI to that and then play it back. Well, an internal machine, so yeah. then that should be a way to back it up. I was hoping there'd just be like a plug. Like yeah, that's what I was hoping like too. Mini plug. Yeah, it looks like the old Sega Genesis controllers. Mm, kind of. Yeah. <laughs> I was looking forward to clicking a button on Pro yeah. and having it go. Burp yeah, that would room. be really cool. Okay, so here's another question: If we have like rain, for example, where I have three different parts, mm -hmm. first one to be here, second to be here, and third to be all the way in the back. That's the that would be so thing. cool. Yeah. Yes, it is very, wishful, very thinking. wishful thinking. Uh huh. And I have the owner's manual. Assign a MIDI LSP and PC. Organization of MIDI voices. It could just not be possible. Uh, we're here trying to make a YouTube video mm. about using the MIDI function on the organ. There has to be a yes, that's it exactly. Just a five pin MIDI plug. We can't find the MIDI plug. MIDI out is adjacent to what, Dwight? RJ45, a little black connector. And where is that? Well, he says it's inside the organ. Oh, no. <laughs> what if Whoa. we took the lid off, Dwight? There's a lid? Oh, my gosh. Yeah. You are always trying to do something that may not be possible. <laughs> he said that the MIDI in, MIDI out is is inside the organ, but it's not meant to be Access. used. Yeah, so it's fairly inaccessible. Hmm. Very inaccessible. And this just doesn't come off like the hood of a car. 
<laughs> no. no. <laughs> hey, Chris, I'm good. We're actually here making a YouTube video. The key desk under the, the light. Whoa, right. Whoa. MIDI in. Oh. MIDI in, you serious? It's a five point. We, oh, yeah, we found it, Chris. Holy cow. Yeah. What? Holy we just cow. found it. Yes. You're, you're right. <laughs> right down there. Yes. Oh, wow. Yeah, thank you so much, Chris. Awesome. Thank you, Chris. We found it. <laughs> yes. Okay, I can change the channel here, but still I'm not getting anything. Mm -hmm. Is the song playing? Okay, so we're not, we're not getting it. Did he happen to say on the phone that it was possible? <laughs> so I'm gonna call Chris again. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so you, do we have to take the lid off to do that? Back to the lid. It's possible that the MIDI is just not hooked up into the IOTI system. Oh, so the box just isn't plugged in. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's what he's saying. This video might have just turned into a two-parter. As they were installing the organ, they never thought yeah. that anybody would want to do what you're trying to do today. <laughs> Which is totally reasonable. <laughs> I need to get somebody in here that will get it hooked up. Mm -hmm. In that case, it would make sense to come back another day. Should I do a whip pan to the next day? I'll just sure. put this camera right now. Sure. All right, so this is day one. Yeah. Hey, everybody. <laughs> uh, <laughs> with the magic of editing, we're back. It's a few months later. I haven't changed my clothes since. While you're away, we had our organ technician come in and he wired up the MIDI function within the organ. So that ultimately was what it was. Fingers crossed, hopefully yeah. today it will happen. Mm -hmm. Let's give it a try. What would you like to start with? We'll try rain. Okay. So the MIDI is just going to essentially control the keys. Okay. And then we'll be here controlling the Great. stops. Great. <laughs> yeah, just so there's haven't some, been sitting on. Some sounds. <laughs> I wish we could communicate through video really how powerful this sounds, being in the room. All right, so do we have it? We have it in. The MIDI is, yeah. is up, and if I hit play, it's gonna be spitting out of MIDI channel one. We'll see. Oh! Oh! We got it working! Right. <laughs> <laughs> this is amazing. Yes! Oh my yes! Because that's just the first delay, it's not the whole, or not the, the main performance. I don't know what division is it playing. Right? Yeah, yeah, is that how you find that out? It's coming from around. Oh, did your computer crash? <laughs> it did. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. I don't know what to do. <laughs> that was me. I oh. oh, excellent. Yeah. <laughs> Let's so, we'll see what happens if yeah. it the channel, if it does a different stop or a different division or... Okay, so we do okay. get different divisions. Yeah. Okay. So we could figure out what MIDI channel is what division. Maybe mute everything except for channel one. I'd imagine channel one would be the great division. Sounds no, good. No, yeah. That's actually three. Yeah, that's a pedal. Oh, so that's a different? Yeah. Okay, yeah, MIDI one is the pedal. That makes sense. Yep. One, two, three. So now two is mm. Yeah, so two would be this right here. Okay, cool. Yeah, okay. That, that's okay, pretty so simple, yeah. One, two, three, four, uh -huh. five, six. Great. So. We should be able to technically then give all three their own channel. Yeah, and if we can get it in the three different divisions. Right. The great division we should have is a, a pretty attacky, very big tone. All right. And then in the antiphonal division at the other side of the building, then we want something for this song for the third delay to be something that's a little more subdued. It's also right. really far away. We've got 142 ranks yeah. here, so it's like 142 <laughs> orchestra members. Yeah, all right. Here's rain on a pipe organ. Yeah, this is a great way to start it.
loved when you brought in whatever you did there that brought in the yeah. lower octaves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was very cool. Wow, okay. That is beautiful. Yeah, it is so cool to hear that song on this gigantic me. piece of machinery. Yeah. I feel like we're bringing kind of old world technology with yeah. new world technology. It's really exciting. Yeah, it's really cool. Yeah. All right, let's move on to Anchor. The rhythm will be on the great, and then the lead will be in the antiphonal. John, if we could find like a really powerful bassy mm -hmm. for, the, for the great division, and then something really sparkly for the antiphonal. So lead off of antiphonal. Yeah. These two chords, yeah. I want you to get rid of. Okay. Here, can I do that? Yeah. But you're, Sorry. You're not your... <laughs> That's so cool. Yeah, that is so cool that, that you can awesome. that you can edit the MIDI and have it come out. Wow, yeah, that's that awesome. Close. Shall we roll? Yeah. The bass notes and the rhythm from here can be so huge yeah. that yeah. Then, then the lead oh, yeah. becomes totally buried. These were the two of my okay. songs. Mm -hmm. I just threw a bunch of MIDI files in there. Okay. So I got a lot of silly stuff. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I have the Super Mario theme here. Well, let's give it a try. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to the castle. <laughs> Here's an experiment I wanted to do. Let's go to Necrophagus. Necrophagus is a metal band, and I've always wondered, if you play it through a pipe organ, is it just Bach? <laughs> so we got the three guitars on the great division, and then the solos on the antif antiphonal. <laughs> That it really works. That's it does kind of sound like Bach. <laughs> Guys, let's see what else do we have here.
let's throw on animals as leaders. There's like 40 tracks. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on, Tosin, what are you doing to us? I say to, as if I'd know him on first name basis. I've never met him. Mr. Abasi, why are you doing this to us? Let's go Bohemian. with Bohemian Rhapsody. So I got chimes, harp in the back, I got strings up in oh. the front. Yeah, you don't hear the single notes. Because of how the MIDI is programmed. It's definitely there. <laughs> Such a letdown that we didn't have the guitars on. <laughs> Thank you. 
missed you, Freddie. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I don't know how we're going to top that. That's, that's <laughs> the ending there. John, thank you so, so You're much. You're welcome, Rob. So appreciate it. It's been this fun. has been great. You can subscribe to this channel if you like. I'm sure this isn't the last time we do something like this. Uh, anything you would like to plug, John? Come to Fourth Church, hear great music, lots of great concerts here all the time. And we'll see you here on the internet uh, next week. <laughs>